Hello children, how are you all? I hope all must be fine. Okay, this video is for all the students who are preparing for Olympiad. And in this video, we will start a new chapter of class 7 mathematics that is perimeter and area. As you are preparing for Olympiad, you must have gone through this chapter in your school for school exam from your school books. And you must be knowing what is perimeter and area. Still, I will tell you once again what is perimeter and area and we will see what are the formula related to those for some geometrical figures. Let us see. Now you see we have got 1, 2, 3, 4 figures here. You must be knowing the name of these figures. Yes, it is a square, it is a rectangle, it is a circle and it is a triangle. Some more figure you can say. This is a parallelogram. And these are concentric circles. Circles having one center and different radius. Okay, now let us see how to find out what is perimeter. Perimeter actually is the boundary of a some area. This is the boundary. Green line you can see this is the boundary. This is the perimeter for the square. For rectangle, this yellow line you can see. And for this circle, this is your pink line. And pink path you can say and for rectangle as a triangle you can see this blackish type line this is your triangle perimeter for parallelogram this one outer boundary is the perimeter for circle we call it circumference now you must be knowing the formula for the perimeter of these figures let me tell you once again if it is a square 4 into side if it is a rectangle, 2 into L plus B. L is its length, B is breadth, breadth. If it is a circle, the perimeter is called, is known as circumference. And it is 2 pi R for radius. For diameter, it is pi into D. And what is the relation between D and R? Yes. Yes, it is D is equal to 2 R. Or R is equal to D by 2. If it is a triangle, L, A, B, C, if I say the side's length, then A plus B plus C. For parallelogram, L and L, B and B, 2 into L plus B. But you see, in case of rectangle, the same formula will be the perimeter of a parallelogram. Because parallelogram is also a rectangle. Sorry, rectangle is also a parallelogram. Okay, now what is the area? Area this part, this part, this part, these are the areas. The area for circle is, sorry, square is side square, side into side. For a rectangle, length into breadth. For circle, pi into r square, you can see, pi into r square. If r is given, if d is given, I can write 1 by 4 into pi d square. Or else from d, I can convert, I can find out r and then I can find this. For a parallelogram, for a parallelogram, what is the area? Area is base, area is equal to base into perpendicular. Perpendicular is what? From this vertex, I drop a perpendicular here. Then this is the area of this parallelogram. Or else, if I take this one as base, from this point I will drop a perpendicular here, 90 degree. Then this length, this is called base now, this is your perpendicular and this is the area, is base into perpendicular. Anyone, this one base perpendicular area, this one is base, this one is perpendicular area, this into this. Okay? For concentric circle, area of the concentric circle, what is it? Area of concentric circle is your this blue part only. Okay? When I feel it like this, this blue part part you see that is the area of the uh, what is it concentric circle and that how we will get actually how we will get first I will find the area of this blue part pi into capital R square from that what I will do area of this red part I will subtract pi into small r square pi into capital R square minus pi into small r square so that will give me pi into capital R square minus pi into small r square because it is area in square units, I have to write it unit. Alright now, okay. From this, I will take pi common. If I will take pi common, what I will I get? 
I'll get capital R square minus small r square. Okay. Last chapter you must have seen exponent. Okay. Indices in that chapter I told you the formula for capital R square minus small r square. That is r plus r and r minus r. So you got this as the formula of concentric square. Got it? Okay. Now, <coughs> these are the formula. Now let us start solving some questions. You must have solved some questions in your school books. And you must have some, uh, what is that logic, how to find this. Here also, we will try to solve some questions. So, before solving questions, you must have the knowledge, you must remember all the formula related to that. And for each question, what you do, pause the video. You, got, you, see the, you see the question, pause the video, try to answer yourself and write it in comment box. You've got the answer. Or else, you see the video. If you don't know the answer, you continue the video. And if you know the answer, please forward the video to the next questions. Okay, that way you see the video. Okay, that will help you actually. Alright, because logic is more, more important. Okay, it's not that we are solving the question, this same question is going to come in exam. The logic, what we are applying here, whatever thinking to solve the question, it is important. Alright now, so that whatever questions comes, you think about that one and you see, this is the way I am going to solve it. Got it? Okay, let us start. First question, the hour end of a clock is 4.5 cm long. You can see it is given the hour end of a clock is 4.5 cm long. What is the distance does it tip cover in 12 hours? Say, say this is a clock. Okay, looks like a clock now. Okay, this is the hour hand. Suppose this is the hour hand. Do you know in 12 hours how it will travel? So it will go like this, like this, like this, and it will come to this place. Can you see that now? It will come to this place. That means the distance it will travel is the circumference. That's all. So if you find the circumference of that one, the circumference of this uh, circular path what is follow is the your is your answer. And the circumference is what for the circle it will be what two pi r and r is what radius. What is the radius of this one? It is given, its length is 4.5 cm, means radius is 4.5. So, if I find the answer, let me write it, r is equal to 4.5 cm. So, your circumference is equal to 2 pi r, that is going to, the, going to be the answer. All of you know, for pi, we will write 22 by 7 or 3.14. That is what we are going to do. So let me write 2.7 here. This will be a 2 into for pi, it will be 22 by 7 into r. Now let me write the r value as fraction 45 by 10 centimeter. If I cancel it by 5, I get 9 by 2 centimeter. So let me write it as 9 by 2 centimeter. So what I am getting this to get cancelled 22 into 9 that gives me 198 divided by 7. Let me divide it now. If I divide 198 by 7, what I am getting? So 7 to the 14, I am getting 5 into 8, 5 8, 58. 7, 5 ja, nay, 7, 8 ja, in fact, 56. 58 from 58, let me divide it. 198 divided by 7. So first I am putting 2, so that I am getting 14. Then we are getting 58. If I take 8, it is coming 56. Alright? Then it is 2. Then I have to put a point 0. Then 7 2s are 14. Okay? Then you are having 6 0 here. 7 8s are. So 28.28 can be the answer. 28.28 centimeter is the answer. And as you can see, it is in option C. So the option C is our correct answer. I hope all of you got it. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. Okay, what is given? A where, see this is the where. Alright, this is the where. A where is bent, a where bent in the form of a circle of radius 42 cm. See, this one is the where, this one is bent like this into a circle whose radius is 42 cm. Okay, so this 
So because the radius is 42 cm, if I find the circumference of this one, uh, then that will be the length of the wire. Got it, na? Length of the wire will be the circumference of this wire. Got it on the pin? Okay. Now, what is given? Is again bent in the form of a square. So it is again bent in the form of a square. This same wire is now bent in the form of a square. And what is the question actually? Uh, question is what is the ratio of the Rizgal enclosed by the circle and the square. So I have to find out the square, eh, sorry, circle area. I have to find out the area of this square. Then I have to find the ratio of that. Okay. Now let us see. Let us see. What is the area of this one? Pi into r square. That we know now. Okay. Next. What is the area of this one? Side square. For that I have to find out the side of this square uh, sorry yes side of this square and how will find the side the length of this that is the perimeter of this one is equal to the length of this square so my first work is to find out the length of this square and how I will get that the length of this square is nothing but the circumference of this circle because this circle is made up from this square Got it on the Okay, let us find out the circumference so that I will get the length of the wire. So, length of the wire is equal to C, that is equal to 2 pi R. So, that makes it 2 into pi is 22 by 7 and R is equal to 42. So, this to get cancelled gives me 6 and it is giving me what? 2 into 22, 44, 44 into 6, 44 into 6, I think it is giving me 264 centimeter. And that is the perimeter of this. So, 4 into L is equal to 264 centimeter implies L is equal to, I have to divide it by 4 to get the answer. So, if I divide it by 4, what I am getting? 4, 6 are 24, then we are getting uh, 2, 4, 66 centimeter. So that is the length of each side. Now, let us find out the ratio of area. Area ratio is pi r square per circle by l square per what? Square. So let me write pi 22 by 7 into r square that is 42 into 42 uh, let me de divide it like this then after that at the end i will find the ratio okay 66 into 66 got it let us simplify it 7 get cancelled to 42 gives me 6 6 get cancelled to 66 gives me what gives me 11. 11 get cancelled to this one gives me 2. 2 get cancelled to this one gives me 33. Okay. So till now what we are getting? 42 divided by 33. 42 by 33 is there? Not there. We have to simplify it for the yeah. It's get cancelled with 3. Na? If it get cancelled with 3, we are getting 14 by 11. So the ratio is equal to 14 is to 11. So our answer is 14 is to 11. I hope all of you got it now. Clear? Okay. Should I go to the next one? Remember, all the questions, for all the questions, you solve the question, you please pause the video, try yourself, you got the answer, then write it in comment box. If you are not able to solve, then continue seeing the question. If you solve the question, go to the next one. Got it? Okay. Now let's go to the next one. What is it? ABCD is a rectangle, you can see ABCD is a rectangle of length 30 cm and breadth 20 cm. This AB is 30, you can say. This AD is 20. EF and Z are the midpoints of AB, CD and AD. E is midpoint of AB and this is midpoint of this and this is midpoint of this. Question is what? Find the area of the onsided part. You can see onsided part is this right hand side part. 
What is the name of this figure? No name is there. You can say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 sides are there. You can say pentagon. But we do not have any formula for pentagon. Are you getting it now? Okay. If you know the answer, how to solve it, you know it, do it. Otherwise, <coughs> see the video. Okay. Now what will you do? Kaise karoge? Kaise karoge? So what we will do actually? A, B, C, D. Total area I will find out. Then I will subtract. From that I will subtract. This area I don't need. This area I don't need. So these two areas I have to subtract. So what is the procedure? First of all I have to find the area of A, B, C, D. Then I will have to subtract the area of this plus this. Because both areas are equal so I can multiply 2 with area 1. Alright? Now, let us see how we will find out the area of ABCD. I think all of you know how to find. Got it now? Simple. Length into breadth. 30 into 20. So that gives you 600. Area of ABCD. So area of ABCD. 30 into 20. 600 centimeter square. Is it your answer? No, of course. We, not have, we do not have to find the area of a rectangle. I have to find out this part. So I have to subtract these two areas. So I can write area of triangle AEG is equal to area of triangle DGF. Okay? These two areas are equal because it looks symmetrical. So, how to find out the total area? Total area of shaded portion is equal to 2 into area of triangle AEG. AEG. Now, the question is triangle area formula half into base into height that you know. No? Okay? Now, what is the base? Base is this. But the question is, what is its length? As it is given, E is the midpoint of AB. And because AB is 30, so this has to be 30 by 2. And 30 by 2 is 15 centimeter. All of you got it now? This is 15 centimeter. Base is 15. And what is height? Height is this one. This one is how will find this? G is the midpoint of AD. So, AG is equal to half of AD. Because AD is 20. So, AG will be 20 by 2, which is 10 centimeter. And I think now you got the base 15 and the height 10. Area half into base into height. So, I can write is equal to 2 into 2 is for what? Because this area, this area has to be included. Into half, into base is 15, into height is 10. So 2 into get cancelled, I got 150 centimeter square. So this is the shaded part. So area of on shaded part. Tell me the answer. Tell me the answer. On shaded part is equal to total area minus shaded part area total area is 600 shaded part area is 150 so answer is 450 centimeter square yes you are right if you have written 450 centimeter square so option c is correct for this question cut it now ok let's go to the next one if you know the answer of this question please write it in comment box you can see this question. If you know the answer, write in comment box. Pause the video. Solve it. Write in comment box. If you don't know, please watch the video. Please continue watching the video. Okay? Got it? Now the question is what? Find the difference between the perimeter of the square. You can see this is the square. Perimeter and the circle. Okay? What is perimeter of a square 4 into side so I have to find out this side length and that will be the perimeter for circle what is the perimeter 
its circumference. Circumference is what? 2 pi r. r is given to you 9.1. So 2 pi r I can find out. But the question is how to find out the side of the square. Easily actually I will get. How? Just see this one. Try to understand. If I join this one. If I join this to this. This is nothing but the side of the square. Which is the diameter of the circle. Means diameter of the circle is the side of the square. And I can find out diameter of the circle very easily. Side of the square L is equal to diameter of circle. Diameter of the circle is 2R. So that is equal to 2 into 9.1. That is equal to 18.2 centimeter. All of you got it now? Okay. Now question is what is the difference? Let us find out the difference. So difference is equal to. 4L minus 2 pi R. 4L minus 2 pi R. 4L is what? Perimeter of the square. 2 pi R is what? Perimeter of the circle or circumference of the circle. 4 into 18.2 minus 2 into 22 by 7 into 9.1. So what I will get? 4 into 18.2 is what is that? 72.8 minus this get cancelled to this one gives you uh, 7, 1.3. <coughs> so what we are getting? 2 into 22 into 1.3. Let us see what we are getting. 22 into 26, 2.6 actually. So it will gives you 52, 52, 57.2. 57.2 So that multiplication you should do na? Now if I subtract for time getting This will be 0.6 and this is I think it is 15 15.6 cm And 15.6 cm is an answer if you have written it correctly Fine Ok 15.6 is in your option B So option B is correct So you will be selected if you have done the you have written the answer correctly ok right now let's go to the next one what is it a wall hanging is in the shape of the given figure find the perimeter this one this is the wall hanging you have to visualize that one that in wall something is hanging whose shape looks like this one some pictures some photos may be there which which looks like this one question is what is perimeter See, so many lines are there, but you should not bother about that one. You should not be confused about that one. Because perimeter is nothing to do with inner part. Perimeter is only the outer part. Outer part is what? This. Okay? You can see that this looks like a semicircle. This one, this one, this one. So four semicircles are there. They are perimeters, they are circumference. If you add, you will get the area of, oh sorry, perimeter of this shape. Now the question is how to find out the circumference of a semicircle, only the curve part. For circle, it is 2 pi r. For semicircle, 2 pi r by 2. Because it is half of a circle. So 2 pi r by 2 will be what? 2 pi r by 2. And it gives you pi r. Yes. Pi r is the circumference of the core part of the semicircle. So pi r, pi r, pi r, pi r. 4 times of pi r will give you the perimeter of this figure. So your answer will be perimeter is equal to 4 into pi r but the question is what is r r is radius now the radius is what from this to this 
or this to this because this is diameter and radius is equal to half of the diameter so radius will be 14 by 2 14 by 2 is your 7 centimeter so let me put the values now 4 into 22 by 7 into 7 so the 7 7 get cancelled and your answer is 88 centimeter i hope all of you got it clear so 88 centimeter is in option d so option g d is correct got it now all right should we move to the next one all of you got it okay next one see what is the question the ratio of circumference of two circles 4 is to 9 find the ratio of their areas two circles are there let me draw two circles say these are the two circles this is a circle ok this is a circle smaller one and this is another circle this is a bigger one alright say it is its radius is r1 and its radius is r2 in the question it is given the ratio of their circumference that is 2 pi r1 2 pi r1 is to 2 pi r2 is equal to 4 is to 9 so 2 pi 2 pi can get cancelled so that we will get r1 is to r2 is equal to 4 is to 9 if i write it in a fraction form r1 by r2 is equal to 4 by 9 ok so question is find the ratio of their areas what is the formula for area yes pi r square so for the first circle it will be pi r1 square for the second circle it will be pi r2 square so pi r1 square by pi r2 square this is the ratio first we will find it in fraction form then at the end we will convert it into ratio alright so pi pi get cancelled r1 by r2 whole square I can write r1 by r2 is what? 4 by 9 so whole square of this one is 16 by 81 those who have written 16 by 81 is absolutely correct ok? there is a huge possibility that you will get a good rank in your metronomia ok now? right next question let's go to the next one the length of the diagonal of a square is 6, 40, sorry, 20 root 2 centimeter. Find its perimeter. So, if students, how to find out the diagonal of a square? Let me show it now. Suppose it is a square. Suppose it is a square. In fact, you see this one is a square. Just a minute. This one is a square. Alright? And what is the diagonal? Diagonal of the square is what? The diagonal of the square is this one. This one is the diagonal of the square. And the question is how to find its length? Let me give you the formula. If A, 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 A is the side of the square, then its diagonal length formula is a into root 2. You can remember this one. Clear now all of you? Okay. Now let's see. Let's analyze the question. What is asked? Asked is what is its perimeter? Because it is a square, so perimeter must be 4a, 4 into a. For that I need to know what is a and how I will get a now I got you, now you got it because the formula for diagonal is given to me now so I can make use of this I can write the diagonal a root 2 is equal to 12 root 2 because it is given to me from that I can find the value of a 
Once I got A, I can find the perimeter. So according to the question, what can I write? A root 2 is equal to 2A root 2. Sir, so from where I got A root 2? This is the formula for perimeter. A hey, sorry, diagonal of a square, the diagonal is a root 2 and it is given in the question the diagonal of a square is 12 root 2. So a root 2 has to be 12 root 2. So what is a then? Root 2 root 2 get cancelled 12 centimeter because the length of the side is 12 centimeter. So perimeter will be perimeter will be 4 a that is equal to 12 into 4. 12 into 4 is 48 centimeter. Those who are written 48 centimeter, very good. 48 centimeter option C is correct in this particular question. Clear? Let's move to the next question and try to answer. Try to pause the video. See the question first. Pause the video. Write your answer in comment box. If it is correct after seeing the video, then very good. Okay. Check. Start the diameter of a wheel of a cycle is 70 cm. It moves slowly along a road. What distance will it cover in 24 revolution? See, it is given that the diameter is 70 cm. This one is the diameter that is 70 cm. 70 cm. Do you have any idea? In one revolution, how much distance it covers? If a wheel revolves one, if a wheel covers one revolution, how much distance it is covering? Yes, it is the circumference of the wheel. And circumference, how we will find? 2 pi r or pi into d. In the question it is given d diameter. So I can use the formula pi into d also. So that is what you should know first. In one evolution how much distance a wheel covers. In one evolution a wheel covers distance equal to its circumference. So in one evolution Distance covered is equal to circumference of wheel. In one revolution, distance covered is equal to circumference of the wheel, which is pi into d. Why not 2 pi r? Because in the question is given. 70 centimeter is the diameter of the wheel. So I can make use of the formula of diameter. So 22 by 7 into 70. So it gives me 220 centimeter. So how much distance it will cover in 24 revolution? Distance covered in 24 revolution is equal to 220 into 20. 24. So 24 into 220. What will be that? 24 into 22. 48, 48. So 8, 2, 5 and 0. Because 1, 0 is there. So it will be 5280 cm. Okay, so the answer is 5280. Option B is correct. Okay, here one thing you have to note. You have to remember. In one revolution, a wheel covers equal to a distance equal to its circumference. Got it? Now let's come to the next one. What is it? Question is, <coughs> what is the area of the centered part in the figure given that the, if the area of the square ABCD is 810 meter square and 
the side of the square PQRS is 100. The area of ABCD is given to you. This side is given to you. So easy to find the area of this center part. What will you do? Find the area of PQRS. Alright? Then subtract this black portion area. Because that area I don't have to find out. I have to find out the area of this part, this shading part. Alright? So easily I can find out. Area of shaded part. Area of shaded part is equal to area of PQRS minus area of ABCD. ABCD area is given to me 8100. Area of ABCD is given to me 8100. Area of PQRS. See PQRS is a square. Bacho batao. PQRS ka area kaise niklega? Square area formula. Yes. It is side into side. Now side is 100. So 100 into 100. 100 into 100 is 4 0 with 1 minus 8 1 double 0. So 1 0 0 0 0 8 1 double 0. It will be 0 0 9 and it will be what? <coughs> 1. Alright. Clear? Okay. So it gives you 1900 centimeter square because area so <coughs> it is centimeter square or meter square which is given here actually meter square so it will be 1900 meter square not centimeter square you need whatever thing given to you accordingly you have to write it suppose in this question children what is asked what is the difference in their perimeter so what to do then first of all you have to find out the perimeter of this one which you can find at all 4 into 400 because side length is 100 minus area of this one sorry perimeter of this one and how we will get perimeter because its area is given to you so you, you can use the formula a square is equal to 8100 to find its side length. a square is equal to 90 square, a is equal to 90 meter. Because a is 90, so the perimeter is 4 into 90, that is 360. And the perimeter of this outer part is 4 into 100, that is 400. So, 400 minus 360 gives you the perimeter of that. Okay? Right? Alright. Now, let's come to the next one. What is given? Let us see. In a parallelogram ABCD, you can see this parallelogram ABCD. The diagonal AC measures 34 meter. If I join this and this, this is the diagonal AC and it gives you that its length is 34 centimeter. And the perpendicular distance from of AC from either of the vertices B and D. From B, if I drop a perpendicular, this comes something like this. Okay? And from D, if I drop perpendicular, it is coming something like this. These are perpendiculars. This is a perpendicular, this is another perpendicular. Question is, both the lengths, both these lengths are 12 cm. This is 12 cm, this is 12 cm and the length AC is equal to 34 cm. And actually what is the area of this parallelogram? We have read the formula for area of parallelogram is equal to base into height. But it is not given that way. So we have to think some other way how to find out this area. So all can see here. Here, a triangle is here, another triangle is here. 
if I can find the area of this triangle and area of this triangle then I will add them to get the area of this parallelogram. Got it? And because of the symmetry all of you can see this triangle is similar to this triangle. Concurrent, equal. So I need not find the area of both the triangles. I, have to find, I can find the area of this into 2 to get the area of this parallelogram. So I can write area of parallelogram you know, 2 into area of triangle ABC that is 2 into triangle area formula is what? half into base into height so it will be half into base is equal to 34 into height is equal to 12 this to get cancelled so this product will give you the answer and this product is coming what? 34 into 12 so it gives you what? 68 34 808 and what is the unit actually? meter square so the option B is correct here ok so with the we end this video this is first part of parallel of uh, area uh, and perimeter alright in next part we will do some more questions ok